everybody, Ann here, and guess what? Ann's Tiny Life is about to get, well, just a little bit bigger. I am a landowner, 4.9 acres, and it was a gift from my parents, actually. Um, at, well, they just made the down payment. I had to make the payments after it. It doesn't look like much right now. This all has to be cleared. But this is the drive. It does have some gravel on it. And they said that the guy who sells the land will probably come in with, I don't know, bushwhack or whatever it is, and uh, clear this away and put down some more gravel for me. But my drive isn't too steep. I like to have it dug out a little bit different, though. Um, there was an RV here a while ago. I don't know where they parked it. But for now, what I'm going to do after we get all of this stuff, oh, and that's an abandoned trailer, after we get all of this stuff cleared, um, I will probably still be in the van initially. Um, and I know this is hard and it's probably shaking. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the stuff to make it not shake or whatever. Um, I will probably park the van right here. This is the levelest spot right now. Um, just a little bit slope down that way towards the tree and a little bit of the slope this way. But I got to clear all this stuff out. There's some trash over there some hoses. Um, so my property, I don't know, it's it's hard to, you can't really see here, but over those trees over there, my property line extends over those trees. And I think it stops that big tree over there. And it goes all the way, way down past the, that tree line there. And I think on the other edge is a stream. And um, then it stops over here by where, uh, well, there's another person that was there named Ann, so that's pretty cool. So, and it does have electricity. Um, there is, yeah, there's the power pole right there. So there's electricity out here, but I'm hoping to be able to just stay completely off grid. An update on the van. It turns out that it was only, it looks like it's just the transmission line. Um, there was a big hole in it by this uh, cooler something, transmission cooler line or whatever. So he's replacing the line and it's not like $2,000 or $5,000. It looks like it's going to be fixed for $340 and that includes an oil change. So um, I was lucky enough to have my parents come down. I, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I actually couldn't believe that they were going to be able to help me do this because I never would have asked them. I would not have asked them because that's a lot to ask, you know. I mean, I'm 55 years old and asking parents for money, that's... Um, pretty sad but they were very very happy to be able to do it and so the van should be fixed today I get my girl back I cannot wait and I got my land I've got land and I'm gonna put a tiny house here just like the ones that um, Andy and, and um, Don have uh, Andy and CG excuse me and his parents as well um, in fact I had considered just buying the one off of Andy's parents because it's the basically the exact one I want. It's not going to be a big one. It's not going to be a huge one. I want it to be the barn style loft. Um, you know, barn style with dual loss. But, of course, I have to get a job first. But I'm going to be able to do that now because my van is going to be fixed. But I'm going to, I'm just kind of still holding my breath because I actually have not got the van yet. So, um, but you know what? It's okay. Um, because even if the van is totally shot, the transmission, I'm going to bring it here, park it here, and find transportation to and from work. Um, I won't be able to do anything like DoorDash or anything like that. But um, at least I've got a safe place that is my own. And it's only 200 bucks a month. 200 bucks a month, that's it. And um, it's a beautiful area. Just I just cannot wait until I can start clearing stuff and working with the land to see how I can get things to grow here. Um, I'm right across the street from CG, country girl, right across the street. Well, kind of diagonal a little bit, but um, we can we can help each other, you know, do stuff. I can help Andy. I mean, everybody that lives on this street are just some really, I don't know how to explain it. Well, it's easy, actually. They're, they are they are salt of the earth type people, real, true, genuine people. They look after one another. Um, there's a group of them that meet like at five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, five o'clock, six o'clock. And they all meet for coffee and breakfast, you know, at one of the, and they all live on this one street. 
and they've invited me and everything so um, hopefully hopefully they'll like me I don't know I like them um, I'm, I'm kind of a weirdo though I it takes me a while to get to know people so I don't know sometimes you just got to give somebody a chance you know what I mean anyhow that is that's all I got for you today I'm not even gonna edit this I'm just gonna like put my little intro and my little outro on it and um, I just wanted to share the news with you guys so it's good news the van's gonna get fixed I'm feeling much better I'm feeling 100% better. Um, I was a little bit worried, you know. I get nervous with the parents coming into town and everything. Um, but uh, aside from that, um, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm feeling happy. <laughs> I'm feeling more relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had we had some fun last night. But anyhow, um, this is it. I get to start building a homestead. And it's totally cool because it wasn't like Anne's tiny van life. It's Anne's tiny life. So... It's still going to be a tiny life, really, because my house, my little house is going to be really, really little. Um, just probably like twice the size of my van, which is will seem like a mansion to me, honestly. I'm going to keep the van as long as it keeps running. It's um, a great van. It's an old van, but um, I love her. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Um, yeah, that's all I got. See ya. Oh, and one more thing I needed to mention is how amazing, how phenomenal both CG Country Girl and Andy have been. They've been such a huge support system. Um, they encouraged me when I was starting to kind of, you know, get a little bit nervous about things. But um, they've just helped me so much, you know, with transportation, getting me around, getting me signed up for this, that, and the other. And um, you know what? I have a feeling at least I hope, if they'll have me, that we're going to be friends for a really, really long time. And I do not forget when people help me. I don't forget it. You know, they keep saying, oh, you don't got to do it. You don't got to, you know. Yes, I do. Yeah, I have to because, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done had they not been the ones that were here, you know, and who have been here for me. Um, you know, you, you cross paths with people every day, but... And I wish I had something totally prolific to say about friends and how great of friends they are. I'm sure there's some catchy phrase out there, but it's not every day you cross paths with friends like CG and Andy. So go check out their channels, and um, I'm, I'm sure they'll show up in the comment section eventually. Um, I've been posting their, their links on all of my other videos, so I'll do it again here. Um, but just again, uh, CG, Andy, I love you guys. You guys are truly amazing blessed people all right that's all i have to say thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one